All right. Let's listen to the story, and then I will ask you a few questions, okay? Roberto Clemente. Roberto Clemente was born in 1934 near San Juan, Puerto Rico. His parents did not have much money, but they taught their children to be good and honest. They also taught their children the importance of honor. Clemente had all of these qualities. As a child, Roberto loved baseball. He listened to baseball games on the radio. He played baseball with his friends. He also played in high school on a city team. When he graduated from high school in 1953, nine professional teams wanted Clemente to play for their team. Clemente said yes. Then another team offered him $30,000. Clemente asked his parents for advice. His mother said that he must keep his word. So he signed a contract with the Dodgers. But he never played a game with them. In 1954, he began to play for another team, the Pittsburgh Pirates. The Pirates were not winning a lot of games. But Clemente helped them get better. In 1960, the Pirates won the World Series championship for the first time in 33 years. In 1965, Clemente won the award for the most valuable player. In 1971, the Pirates won the World Series again. Clemente was named the most valuable player in the series. Clemente received many awards and made a lot of money, but he gave a lot too. He gave to charities in the United States and in Puerto Rico. Every winter, he went back to Puerto Rico and worked with children. He taught them about baseball. He also taught them about honor and honesty. In December 1972, there was an earthquake near Nicaragua. Clemente collected food, clothing, and medicine for the people. On New Year's Eve, he went on a plane to bring the supplies to Nicaragua. But after the plane took off, it crashed into the water. Everyone on the plane died. Roberto Clemente was a great baseball player and a hero. Oh my goodness. Did you understand the story? Did you understand? Did you learn some new words? Okay, let me ask you a few questions about the story. Okay, the first three questions will be multiple choice. Tell me, is the answer A, B, or C? Number one, Clemente was A, a sports hero. B, in the earthquake in Nicaragua. C. Born in New York. Number one.
Clemente was A, a sports hero, B, in the earthquake in Nicaragua, C, born in New York. The answer is A, a sports hero. Number two, Clemente was named most valuable player A, once, B, twice, C, three times. Number two, Clemente was named most valuable player A, once, B, twice, C, three times. Number two is B. Clemente was named most valuable player twice. Two times, twice. Number three. Clemente gave money to A, charities, B, baseball players, C, his mother. Number three. Clemente gave money to A, charities, B, baseball players, C, his mother. Number three is A, charities. Clemente gave money to charities. Okay, good. Understand? 100%? Okay, now let me ask you a few more questions about details, details of the story. Where was Roberto Clemente born? Where was Roberto Clemente born? Do you remember? He was born in Puerto Rico. Which team did he sign a contract with first? Which team did he sign a contract with first? He first signed a contract with the Dodgers. When did the Pirates win for the first time in 33 years? Give me the date. When did the Pirates win for the first time in 33 years? Ooh, I know it's difficult because you don't have the story in front of you. This is supposed to be reading comprehension, not listening comprehension. Ah, the answer is in 1960. The Pirates won for the first time in 33 years in 1960. What happened in December 1972 in Nicaragua? What happened in December 1972 in Nicaragua? In December 1972 in Nicaragua, there was an earthquake, an earthquake. When did Clemente get on a plane to Nicaragua? When did Clemente get on the plane to Nicaragua? Do you remember? Clemente got on the plane to Nicaragua on New Year's Eve. He got on the plane to Nicaragua on New Year's Eve. 
Last question, what happened to the plane? What happened to the plane? The plane crashed. The plane crashed. 